Hello everybody, Ghostified Gamer here, and we're going to be doing a tutorial today using the 248K mod and the beacons that we have with the with this mod here. So um, there's always confusion with them. I, I was confused. I hopped on the Discord and got some information from the awesome guys there that are also playing the mod, as well as Prelay Zero. And uh, so I figured I'd do a tutorial to help, you know, because sometimes people learn better from video and voice presentation than, uh, you know, just typing in a Discord. So if, you know, referring to a video is, is always nice. So it's just the time to do it, right? Anyway, first off, I think uh, this is a, a mod. Prelay Zero recommends he actually wrote all this stuff here for the K, uh, 248K mod, and uh, this is the Informatron mod. So it goes into uh, a lot of different things, but there's a KI core entry here, and I'll be going into this in this tutorial. So yeah, reading it is one thing, but doing it is another, or understanding it once you do it is another. <laughs> so we'll be going into that, but just know that if you uh, install the mod, the Informatron mod, you'll have some additional information here. So, uh, first off, the core, the, the beacons and the cores you know, work together, right? So you're gonna need some, some different things. You're gonna need to research the to get the cores and to get the beacons, right? So if you go up into here and you just search for KI, you're gonna, now I've researched everything so far uh, that's available currently. So one of the, I th it's the kicks ones that are interesting. <laughs> uh, these are the expensive ones here. So let, let's look at a few of these here. So they have, uh, this unlocks the technology itself. You get the K1 beacon, you get the KI1 core, along with the memory provider and the data center. Plus you get the fluids, you, know, you get the recipes with it as well. Now, when you start out, the recipes are gonna be more expensive and uh, you know require more stuff. For example, this one's gonna require the mystery, mysterious crystals and the, the green wire, as well as uh, for the red fluid, the memory, it's gonna require red wire as opposed to green wire with the mysterious energy crystals. But then as you start to research more of these, uh, what is this called? The uh, KI-1 Technologies, uh, you'll get uh, cheaper recipes, which is nice. So we'll take a look at this one. This one unlocks the KI-2 Beacon, the KI-2 Core, and the KI-2 Energy Provider. We get the KI-2 Recipe, and we now unlock a Red Cube. Now, what's interesting is, so this one here requires, what was the, uh, this one requires the uh, red and green science. Where, oh, here it is right here. Red and green science only to unlock. Now, once you, and then this one requires the red, green, and blue science, and that unlocks the cube. And then the cube, the red cube is used for this, you know, some other researches, right? See, so and this one here, for example, most, I'll show you in the uh, crafting menu, uh, some of these will reduce, These. this is the one that reduces the cost of keeping this thing up and running. And then you have uh, the KI3 efficiency. Now you need a yellow cube. Well, the yellow cube is unlocked <clears throat> somewhere else. And it's kind of like when you're searching, here it is right here. No, that's not it. Um, this one here. So this one here, the KI-3 technology, unlocks the KI-3 beacon and all this stuff and the yellow cube. So uh, you need both those cubes in order to advance your KI beacon and core uh, technology, make it better, more efficient, and stronger. So um, that's how that works. There are, these are the buffs. So you have the, the technology uh, to reduce the cost of the fluids. And then you have these kicks, KIX one and two and three. Okay, there's three, yeah. 
which is weird. There's not a tr three, uh, no Roman numeral three or three eyes. Um, this one, it doubles the module effects, only works on KI3 though. All right, and look at the cost on this thing. 50 per craft at 30 seconds times 2,000. <laughs> this one is it up to 4,000 uh, craft, uh, crafts at 50. Uh, uh, 4,000 50 science, 50 science packs at 30 seconds. And this one is 80, but it's only a red cube. <laughs> I don't know why it's a red cube. Um, so it's 50 times 80, which is a little better. So when you get to these guys, uh, well, this one here unlocks the cubes, but these are the effectives. So you get a double and then you get a, a triple. Okay, and that comes into play when you're really looking for for um, massive speed. The, there, there comes a, a time where you have to question your sanity, like he says in here, if you mount, mouse over this. <laughs> Stupidly insane. Yeah, you have to question your sanity. If you're if you're going to be building to this scale and this speed, yeah, you're nuts. <laughs> well, I am nuts. So, yeah, I would probably do this or I would attempt it. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's take a look at the menus here, this stuff here, the uh, crafting menu. So as you can see, there's a, a little dots. He added this recently where you can see the level of, you know, importance, I guess you could say. So you got green wire 10 and two mysterious crystals. When you research the next one, reduces the green wire uh, requirement, reduces the crystal now, and then it removes the crystal altogether. Same thing with the red uh, memory fluid there, just goes down to a red uh, wire, eight of them. And then you've got the Ki2 energy uh, fluid, which is the max is the six batteries and uranium, lithium and all that. And then it's a reduction, then it's removing the lithium, then it's removing the battery and replacing uh, the uranium-235 or 8 with the uranium ore, which is basically just mining it up, which is nice. And then the Ki-3 is really expensive. You need the exotic science packs, fusion deck, and 20 advanced circuits. Then it reduces it, then eliminates the exotic science pack, and then it reduces it again, which is really nice to have. And there's your built, you know, your buildings here. Um, each uh, stage is going to have your next stuff, you know. And then here's your next stuff here, Ki3 beacon. Then that's all there is after that. All right, so here's the buildings you're going to be obviously using. You've got your memory provider, you've got your data center, Ki2 energy provider, and your Ki3 energy provider. Each one, obviously taking the ingredients that I mentioned. So I placed those there just so we could you know, have them up there. Now, here's your beacons. So you get the KI-1 beacon early on. However, it's really tough to, um, <laughs> to get the associated core one beacon or the, well, the first K core beacon up and running, even built. Because if you look at the recipe for this thing, it's got a lot of stuff in there. And I think the toughest thing is the red, the advanced circuit, along with concrete. You know, that's not too bad, but you have to, you know, actually build it, build it and get enough. Um, the aluminum is a little bit tricky. Uh, you have to be pat, pretty much, you know, you have to do some research to get the availability and then be, and then you have to build the stuff. The lithium battery, you need dirty water. So you had to, you know, you could bootstrap that and just get a quick dirty water and filter it and get the lithium to get the batteries, at least to get the core, because you only need one. You only need one. Um, the beacons are easy. The KI-1 uh, KI beacons are easy to get, but you still need that aluminum ceramic composite, which is a little bit you know, new. So for newer um, 2 for 8K mod players, you'd be like, oh, what's this? You know, But it's doable. Now, here's the, here's the rub though too, is it requires 400 kilowatts to, for these beacons and 20 megawatts for the core. So, you know, you're gonna need some power for this. It's gonna take away from your power and you're most likely still on coal. And you can get into solar early, fairly early on, but you need the aluminum uh, ingots, I guess you could say, or aluminum bars. So, you know, there is some, some, some work you have to do before you can get into that. So you get it early, but you really can't use it till a little later. Um, 
So there's that. And then there's the constant supply issue too. This is going to require copper and iron for your green wire constantly. Now, one thing we just found out, you do not need to run this constantly to get the effects. So right now, I have a KI2 beacon here with six modules. I've researched the KIX to the fullest, and it's tripling the effects. So it's, it's two, then four, then six. So if I were to disconnect the power here completely off, I still have the effects, which is really interesting. So you can actually, uh, you know, maybe automate or have a switch where when you want to run your base, you know, do some research and some testing or whatever, stress testing your base, you can just cut, cut this off until you're ready to, to run it again, which is really nice. So I have um, these, you know, beacons way up here. Still got it. Still got six. So that's kind of nice to, to know. Um, but that's the kicks. That's an intended feature. <laughs> so I, I, I thought that was kind of cool. I'm like, oh, wow. So today I learned. And so we'll keep this connected, though, for fun. All right. So let's talk about the core one. Now, there's two hitboxes on this thing. First off, do not pull this up, uh, mine it, with the modules inside because you'll lose the modules. I brought that to Prelay Zero's attention. I don't know. He didn't pin it on the Discord. I might have to remind him. But I don't know if he could fix it, uh, to tell you the truth, because there are two hitboxes here. So what's happening is this KI-1 core is transmitting the two speed modules in here it's also you know making the fluid here now when i click on the outer hitbox here you'll also see that it has a channel core channel and the amount of beacons that are linked to it now there is no benefit to changing the channels and i'll get into that when we get to the gui uh, the the global gui i guess you could say the gui that's up here the upper left here so right now I have 939 beacons attached to this channel. And that's reflected in all these beacons here. Now the KI-1 will only receive the two that are in here, but the KI-2 and 3 are receiving the kicks, the KI-X research, the doubling and then the tripling, okay? So the KI-1 beacon does not have any any tripling or doubling or anything like that on it. So just so you are aware, that's what's going on here right now. Okay, now let's go over to, let's see, let's click on this one here. So right now, just leave it at channel one and make sure when you plop these down, which we will do one, uh, you make, sh make sure that you're on channel one because it will jump all the way up to 18 or 17. I think it increments, every time you place one down, it'll increment the channel. Um, and it stops at 17. So I picked these things up and placed them enough times to where I think it'll, I think it's incremented to 17. So always check your channel uh, when you're doing this. All right, so let's take a look at this here, a uh, little GUI. Click on this thing. And right now the standard channel is set to one. Uh, there is no benefit that I know of. And, I've, and we've asked around, we've brainstormed it a little bit on the Discord. There's no benefit to changing the standard channel. So just leave it at one. And then, of course, here's your uh, beacon channel here. And uh, this is where you can have a core one, another core one, and you can come into this GUI, change it to channel two, okay? And then place a beacon down and change this to two, click apply, and you get a little planner. And this is how you change your beacon channel. So in the future, there is talk from Prelay Zero that there will be multiple channels. And in order to get that out of your hand, you press Q, just like a regular planner down here. So um, right now, let's go into detail here. Right now, you have a max beacon support of 65,535 right here. That is the max amount 
no matter what. Okay, so if you have a second core, I KI1 core, and you change the channel, and then you place some beacons down, it's going to deduct from your max anyway. So that's why there's no benefit at this point, from what I understand, to change channels and have multiple cores. Okay. Now, you can have cores placed with speed modules and not power them as we've seen. I pull the power up, right? And it will transmit that three, uh, that six beacon, or the six speed modules to the beacons. So, you know, it, it's there's no cost actually to uh, do that, you know. So you can surely do it and go one, two, channel one, two, three, four, all that, and have fun with it. Uh, but keeping track of it will be kind of tricky. So, but anyway, to re to summarize again, this is the max beacon, no matter, uh, max be beacon support on the your save right now, this current map, regardless of channels. And if you had 30,000 beacons on channel one, and you switch to channel two, you can only have 35,535 beacons on that channel, and then you're done, done skis. Now, what would you do? Well, just use the vanilla beacons in place of that, you know. Um, the good thing about these beacons is obviously you're saving, you know, a speed module, you know, burn, <laughs> where you have to leave the computer on overnight to, you know, get a thousand speed modules you know, to ramp up your production and all that. So this is, that's what's nice about these is, you, you know, you only need six, six speed modules to get the max effect out of a K3 beacon. So anyway, so that's what that is. Now, uh, again, you don't need to change your standard channel, leave it at one for now. And I'm on version 1.0.24, just so you know. And um, the channel won't change. No, don't change, change the channel, just leave it at one. If you do, you know, change it to two accidentally or it's two, uh, grab the little planner and uh, just wipe over it and, uh, you know, drag and drop over it and you'll be fine. There we go. Okay, so let's get into the um, the KI2 beacons now. So you do need them powered to get the benefits of the KI2, three, one, two, and three, right? So right now we, you know, we could, you know, like I said, you, you know, we removed the power. We had the beacons still running, which was great. All right, so let's get uh, a KI-2, which is this one here. Oh, that's the, there we go. Now, I set this up a specifically a certain way. Okay, so they see the inserters facing this case here. And um, so right now, it's not going to run. So let's put our speed modules in. Okay. Now you're gonna we'll, we'll we'll watch the Ki3 beacon and I'll show you what happens. We'll pop the pipe on, and boom! As soon as it got the fluid it needed, we uh, doubled the amount of uh, speed. Now is it or is it tripled? It was six. Now it's twelve. All right. So it's a double. It doubled it. Right. So what's going on? is it took the two in the KI-1 core, the two in the KI-2 core, and tripled them. So it's four times three, which is 12. Now, if we look at our KI-2 beacon, there's only six still, because the research only affects the KI-3 beacon. So you're gonna get the tripling effect on, on this one, the KI-2 but you're not going to get the tripling plus the second KI-2 core now, right? So you have to have a KI-2 core to get the tripling and the doubling, basically, of those two modules, all right? Now, let's do a KI-3 beacon, or core, I'm sorry. And we'll plop this in here and set right. Put our speed modules in. And now, we'll plop that on. Mouse that over real quick. And boom, we have 18 speed modules being transmitted to this beacon right here on channel one. So what is happening? Two, four, six times three is 18 speed modules. So that's how that's working right there. 
<laughs> it is nuts. So, looking at the research tree here, you notice that we don't have any more KIX or KI beacon stuff. So the cubes are no longer needed after you complete that brutal research. And I love it. I love that it's that expensive. It's really fun. So, you know, so basically what I did in order to get the research done was I just set these up and let them run, walked away, did some stuff, you know, let the computer run overnight, came back, continued the research, you know, put whatever cubes I had, threw them in the thing, in the, you know, in a case with my labs, and I completed the research, you know. And, and that, you know, it's not a production goal. It's more of a, you know, can you, can you, can you do it, you know? So anyway, eventually, now the, the research will progress and unlock the red and yellow cubes, the KI, uh, what is this thing? KI2 tech recipe, KI2 tech. Um, and this is the KI3 tech. So once you're done, you're done. What I did here was I set up a an inserter to capture the, you know, when I get to, to running this base, you know, crazy, because right now this is just a test save to kick the mod around, learn it, you know, all that. Um, now, you're going to be able to, you know, these things are going to be cranking out. I think they stacked at 10,000 or something. Um, what you could do is get a combinator, place it down. I think this is... That's one. That's a signal. Uh, let's try an inserter. Let's try an inserter here. Oh, no, a case. Uh, let's try a case. I think you'll get the count. Yeah, 10,000. So this will stack to 10,000. Now, now, that's quite a bit. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. It's 100,000. So 100, 200, 300, 400 about 480,000, almost a half a million or whatever of these cubes, right? Well, you're not going to need them at all, right? But here's the thing. There may be an update to the mod later on where you're going to need them for a research. So, hey, stockpile them. And what I had here, I just set this to 20,000. So what, what's going to happen is the cubes are going to get item destroyed in here. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a neutron activator. <laughs> I put the wrong thing. Uh, they look uh, similar. We'll put that on there. There we go. Item fluid handler. That's good. Uh, so what's going to happen is when they hit 20,000, uh, they will uh, get cooked, you know, destroyed. So um, that's what's happening there. Now, I think I covered that. Uh, the beacons and all that good stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this up and pull this up. Be sure to take your speed out first, just in case. Now, I don't know if he fixed it, but let's pull these babies up. You don't want to waste the speed, obviously. All right, so now, what's the point of doing these mat nasty beacons here? Well, you get, you get to builds like this. And now, oh, another thing too. Uh, I should note, and I think I could say, see it here. I, did, I think I did mention it. The K1 beacon is 400 kilowatts. The Ki2 is 4 megawatts, and the Ki3 is 40 megawatts. So until you're ready for these, until you're really, really ready for Ki3s, just build the Ki2s. And it's going to be kind of, it's tricky because now you have to redo your builds and stuff to accommodate these Ki3s because they are, you know, a 4x4. Four four. So, you know... If you want to try and accommodate with these, then, you know, so be it. Uh, however, the KI3 is going to transmit 18-speed beacons. So on your existing builds, you know, if you don't have the room, you don't have the room. But if you allow another gap both ways, then, you know, more power to you on that one. But um, <laughs> this thing here, we're using a, a fusion assembly machine. And if you put in these uh, high-end Gauss module art, six dot arts, uh, it's going to drive your uh, speed down, way down. Now, what's funny is the crafting speed is 10 on these. Well, I just knocked it down to two, which is still better than an assembly, uh, assembly three level machine in vanilla. So you're still crazy, you know, still fast. And you're doubling your, your productivity. So you're putting, you know, Instead of getting one out, you're getting two every time, which is nuts. So 
if you want Uber production, here you go. Now, there's probably an other ways to do this. Um, what I did was I took the uh, KI3 and I touched the corner on each one of these. And then I filled in around, you know, with all the beacons, the KI3s. And then I just took the KI2s and I threw them in there. Now, uh, this particular build, when you shift right click, shift left click onto the case, machine to case, to copy the uh, recipe, boom, this is what it wants to keep running. Well, you probably don't need that much. So yeah, this this gives you an idea of the power of this, uh, of the KI3 beacons and uh, the build kind of fun you can have, which is really cool. So I take my modules back, thank you. Anyway, so that's kind of what you can do with that, just as a little example. All right, so 25 minute tutorial. Um, I like to go into detail. I don't wanna leave anything out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Go to the mod portal, get on the Discord, you know, check it out. We're all we're all over there. We're having fun uh, trying to figure these things out. And uh, thanks for watching and have an awesome day.